What's the deal? It's your boy Prophet Rico. One thing for sure, two things for certain. We're going to keep on hustling and we're going to keep it real. And that's Overstood. You tuned in to the Overstood podcast. Episode one, we opened up banger for sure. We pretty much talk about goal setting, how we should live for something. You know what I'm saying? Not out here just doing anything. Episode two, we're going to talk about living in your truth. You can't set goals if you're not living in your truth. You can't accomplish goals if you're not living in your truth. You can't. Be honest with your progress if you're not living in your truth. You can't be real with others if you're not real with yourself. So check me out. I want to bust out the braids on this episode. But my truth is, I got the stocking cap on. Simple shit like that. You just got to live in your truth, man. We live in a social media world where the truth and real is no longer a thing. We live, social media has fucked us up so much. I'm going to forever say us because I don't want y'all to ever be on my comments listening and be like, man, who do he think he is? He better than everybody. No, I'm one of y'all. I'm learning as y'all learn. And that's what I see on other podcasts and other people. They be on that motherfucker talking about, talking with opinions, trying to speak like they facts. They try to down people, tell people what they ain't, what they ain't doing, what they not doing. And in reality, they probably not doing that shit either. Or they probably doing the shit they telling motherfuckers not to do. It's a whole bunch of cap. One thing I love to do, I'm going to be brutally honest, overly real, (laughs) tell you like it is. I am an asshole, and I'm going to laugh about it. And the thing about it is, shit, I want you to do the same to me. I want you to get on my ass. I like when motherfuckers is on my ass. I like when my female on my ass. I like a feisty, greasy talking motherfucker. I want you to tell me like it is. Because I don't want you out here fake loving me. I don't want you... Letting me fail. I don't want you to helping me or enabling me to build bad habits. So the one thing to stop that right there is living in your truth. But one thing that is true is you can't handle the truth. Shit, I can't handle that bitch. I'll take that bitch. I'll take that bitch with a smile. Take that bitch on the chin. It might affect me in my mentally for a little minute. I'm going to overthink that motherfucker. But, shit, it is what it is. It's the truth. Why lie? Why lie about where you at? You're going to get further behind. You're going to get further behind doing all that goddamn lying and capping to yourself. Why? Tell the truth. You fat, be fat. You broke, be broke. You ain't got it yet. You ain't got it yet. You don't got no money for that bottle. Don't put on for it. You late on rent. Get some more hours. Living your truth. People want to always act like shit all good. It ain't all good. It's all right for it to be fucked up. It ain't all right for you to settle in it being fucked up. It ain't all right. You act like it ain't fucked up and that shit remain fucked up. I hate a delusional motherfucker. A motherfucker just living and breathing lies. Like, nigga, you don't see what the fuck going on? Like a dirty a dirty motherfucker with roaches in their house. They act like that shit clean. A dirty motherfucker who think they can cook in their kitchen and they know that shit dirty and want to feed everybody. You just look shit like that. I don't like that shit. You just delusional. You just... Not honest with self. Now, I understand motherfuckers was raised in some horrible habits and raised on some horrible lies. So they might not even know what the fucking truth is or might not know that, don't, might not know they wrong. 
And it's crazy because I'm talking reckless like this, but I'm talking to the young people. Everything I do is for the youth. Because if I can't save people in my age, my generation, I'm definitely going to try to bless and save the youth and give them free game. And the best game you can get is living your truth. Respect where you're at. Respect the step and the process that you're at. People want to be somewhere else so bad. People want to live somebody else's life so bad. You can't. Be you. And that's why motherfuckers always failing. That's where a lot of fails come from and ills come from. You just doing some shit you ain't supposed to be doing. Because you ain't living in your truth. Be you. Take care of your shit. And this topic and this subject range big. It's, it's, it go from anything. For one. Wait, wait, y'all want to go physical? We can go physical. You have health issues because you're not working out. You have health issues or you, or your, or your pussy stink because you're not drinking water. Your nuts stink. Yeah, for the guys, you're not drinking water. How you want to go with this? We can go. You're not getting chose because you overweight. Your baby daddy is leaving you because your back getting big. <laughs> like, that's just brutally honest. It's all right. We know you had a baby and you maybe lost yourself. You know, you may have been depressed, but the first time you start being real with yourself and being realistic is where you might be able to accomplish the goal of fixing it oh, i'm just gonna take a walk today i'm gonna take a walk tomorrow i'm gonna take four walks oh i'm gonna start running that's how it works you gotta crawl and walk before you run so physically i don't eat healthy you get what i'm saying like I don't, I don't groom myself enough. You know what I'm saying? As a male. You know what I'm saying? It's so many things. Shit, basic shit. Motherfuckers need to shower more often. It's so many ways we can go with this shit. Physical. That's just physical right there. You know what I'm saying? This makeup might not help. I just might need to moisturize and use some tea tree oil to clean my face. We can go back and forth. It's not a man versus woman thing. You know what I'm saying? It's just being honest. We like to put on jewelry, put on a fake chain, some fake earrings, and look like we got it. Females like to put on makeup, cover up, put all that makeup on their face, put on a wig. And look like they that. And they not. Live in your truth. Now let's go to relationships. How can we live in our truth in relationships? Oh, I don't know how to communicate. I don't show affection. That's me right there. I'm not a pleaser. I, let's do me. I'm going to do me. I'm going to do me if any of these qualify for you or any of these make sense for you. We going we gonna to say it out loud and we going to admit it together. I want you to comment, yes, you ain't lying. Yeah, comment, you ain't lying. That's all I need you to comment. So me, relationship, what's my issue? I don't show enough affection. In the bedroom, I'm selfish. I'm not a pleaser. What what could we go with it? Um, I don't give my girl all my attention. I hustle. I focus on hustling and making money more than I do my female. Um, where else can we go with this? Because I want to be honest with myself. What's up, Rico? What else you don't do for your female? 
I think that's my three. I got three. That's all. Three. What is yours? What else? What What's some things I see from females? I can't. Females can't handle the truth. You're beggars. You're impatient. You want the final things before it's time. What is it? You know what I'm saying? What is your truth that you are avoiding? The faster, the quicker, the more honest you are with yourself, the easier it is to accomplish your goals and to grow and become a better you. So we went relationship. Let's go finances. Let's go financial. Oh, I'm broke. Let's start there. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't want to be real. You broke. I don't got it, dog. I can't go there. Tell that female, I can't date right now. I don't got it. I just told a female that. She was like, oh, I want you to, I want you to, oh, love me and we can grow. Baby, I want to grow by myself right now. I feel like I got I got something to prove to myself. I'm broke as hell. I can't afford to take you out on a date. Because I like finer things, too. We we out of that. I don't, well, I'm not going to shine on other people, but I'm out of the Texas Roadhouse, the Chili's. I'm out of that shit. We, I like seafood, oysters, steak, lamb. And I'm a fucking lamb. I love lamb. Oxtails. I like the expensive shit. You know what I'm saying? So, and I want you to drink while we out. You know what I'm saying? So we we a hundred and fifty two hundred dollars a meal, an out in two hundred me. You know minimum. So hey, I'm too broke today, and I ain't gonna modify some shit or dumb myself down or settle to doing some bullshit because that's not me. I'm not no basic ass individual, bro. So yeah, I just told a female that I'm I'm good on that, but finances. I can't afford to live in that luxury apartment right now. So I'm going to live over here where the rent is cheaper because I don't need to live someone else to impress others. I can't afford this outfit to impress others. Cause to be honest, y'all as a, as a, as a male, right? This is a male. It's females too. In my in our culture, my culture, I, I don't know what ethnic ethnic groups is 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 watching. I butchered that word, but is watching. But in my culture, females and males, y'all gotta be honest. Y'all go outside y'all means, y'all try to go overboard to flex, y'all try to go overboard to impress. Males, you try to impress females. And majority of the time, other niggas. Majority of the time. I've seen niggas get dressed and be like, I'm about to shit on these niggas. What? <laughs> what the fuck? You trying to shit on some niggas? You don't want to smell good so you can walk past the bitches and she hug you and you look good? It be for the niggas. Females. Do the same thing, like I'm about to shit on these bitches. What? So you got all your head done for some bitches? You don't even wanna, you ain't even trying to get no attention for the niggas? It be like that. For what? But we gonna get on that on another episode because you know what that is? That's systematic. It was passed down to us. We like to compete, compete with each other. Go hard on each other. Flex on each other. I like to flex in general. I like to just be great. I'm a man, man. I want to be the man of all mans. I don't want to compete with no other man. If it's friendly competition, like, but I love you doing it too. Like, if you got a live ass car, like, I want a live ass car too. I'm going to see if I can make a live car than yours, but 
I want us to pull up together in our live ass car. Or we both be in a parking lot. You got your music loud. I got my music loud. We park side by side. I ain't even got to know you. I see a nice car park in a parking lot. Shit, I'm going to park next to yours. We both come outside. Boy, that's your shit. Yeah, that's my shit. Your shit loud too, boy. Simple. I'm just a flexor in general. But all you weird motherfuckers who like to, like, like I say, go broke trying to impress other. The same sex is even crazier. But even to impress the opposite sex is crazy too. And it's so crazy because males, the females is fucking the broke niggas. Females, you know these niggas is fucking animals. They has to fuck a dog if he got an ass. So, stop going outside your means. Living your truth. You can't afford that shit right now. You can't live that right now. Your credit is horrible. You are not financially responsible. Your car note is behind. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's be real, dog. We want finance, relationship, and physical. Let's be real with I mental. I'm facing anxiety. I might be depressed. I'm sad all the time. That's why I'm angry or I'm hating on others. Um, I was abused. Shit. I can't stay focused. I might need to be diagnosed with something. It can go whatever way, but for you to figure it out or for you to grow from it or for us to get better at what we do, for one, as individual and as a society, we have to be honest and live in our truth. You got to live in your truth. It's just like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, and this is not to say I ain't did no shit when I'm out here fake capping. I be, it's been in the past, I've been in a relationship and I try to make my relationship seem overly great. I put more energy in making it look fucking good to others than actually making sure it was actually good. Financially, I ain't never really flexed. I ain't never had to like lie. I either really had it or I was all right with not having it because I've always had it. So I'll be honest than a motherfucker. I ain't got it. I ain't got that shit. I can't go. <laughs> I'm post up in the career. You know what I'm saying? Hey, baby, nah, we ain't going. I can't afford that shit. She might not like that shit. But that's why I ain't dating, though. Because I don't want to tell my girl no again. I've been through that. Because... These these females, they like they like to chase the money. Some of them be down, but you got to be honest. When you ain't got it more than fucking 10 times, huh, they going to find out who got it. And they going to slowly get at some attention. And you got to, like, it's like you can be mad about that shit, but you got to be realistic. That's part of a man living in his truth. Hey, bro, I don't need to be dating. If you be honest, like, man, I don't want to tell my female, t if I got a flex to date you and you going to find out that I'm broke anyway, I wouldn't do it. So I'll just tell you I ain't got it. And then that's why I'm going to stay out the way because being broke means I don't need to be dating. I can't even be, like, sexually active when I'm broke. All them motherfuckers be having broke sex, that shit hit when Future made rich sex. Cause I'm like, hell yeah, I want to feel good and have money when I'm fucking on bribes. Don't get me wrong. I got to fuck when I was broke, but I try to avoid that as much as possible. My dick don't even get hard to be honest. Gotta be on a different wave. Like you, uh, let me figure some shit out. <laughs> let me figure some shit out. I, it's like that shit. Like we avoid the truth so bad. I'm talking about everybody. You can't tell me you're not doing it. It's some shit that you are turning your eye to, a blind eye to, about yourself, and you just letting that shit rock. And it is what it is. Or you out here trying to make stuff seem good when it's really not. You got to live in your truth.
Be honest with yourself. And I promise you, you're going to start growing instantly. This last year, me living in my truth has helped my growth. And I'm talking about like I was living, like I said, I don't really just financially, I don't really cap. Like relationship wise, I was capping. I was like, yeah, that shit good. That shit was, I was not doing a good job. I was horrible. I'm talking about me. I, I'm not going to sit on here and, and bash who I was talking to. I'm talking about myself. I I could have been doing better. But like, I'm just being honest, brutally honest with myself now. You need to get educated. You no longer need to be a criminal. Look, let me tell y'all something. It's just a quick rundown. If you check Rich Television and YouTube, Rich Television on um, my page on Instagram. We've always dropped content. I've always wanted to be um a director, producer, in content creating, in production. So it was a time when I was creating content. Like if you go look at that South by Southwest video, you go look at that video I had. Five people pay for their room, come out to go out there so we can shoot a video. I could have saved money and paid for my own room and maybe like one other female if I was living in my truth. I, I wanted to drop content, but I was so hard in the streets, I couldn't even put my face on the camera. Or it was part of that, and or I'm what well, I thought I was too cool to do it. Too cool to talk to people, but most of it was damn man. You can't live no double life. How you gonna be on camera trying to vlog with your kids, but be in the street, toting pistols and living on a wild side? So guess what? They know what your whole family look like. You vlogging where you at? You showing your life. So what are you going to, this money not legal? You can't go on the internet trying to do regular legal shit and expect nothing to happen. You know what I'm saying? That's just like a moment where I was not living in my truth. I'm giving on, I'm coming on that mug. Hey guys, YouTube. Not even, I'm like, you're not even talking like myself on that mug. Trying to talk friendly as hell. It ain't even me. Not living in my truth. And I'm talking about this is content I could have been dropping. So I had to choose. You know what I'm saying? I could have been real good at dropping content or keep making money and doing what I was doing. And at the time, I chose what I chose. We didn't drop many more videos or we only dropped limited videos. Oh, let's go back into my truth further. Oh, I lack consistency. That's something else I can be honest about myself, my mental and self-growth. Self-growth, let's go there. I lack consistency. I lack time management. I can't be on time for shit. I've been getting better at it. Now I be there just on time. I got to that point where I get there on time. Like I get there at the time you told me. So now I'm working on... I want to be there 15 minutes earlier, 30 minutes earlier. I'm working on that. Time management is gone. I'm talking about out this world. I was so trash at that. Um, patience. I was so impatient. On the first episode, I was, when I was talking about cheating, cheating the process, impatient. That's being impatient. I'm talking about. You chasing a bag every which way. You not even consistent at your hustle. Like, you know, like, um, say you like, I'm just talking from the streets. I like, like I said, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna talk it as real as I and how I know it. You selling, say you sell weed. You just, just sell weed. Just focus on getting as many weed clientele. But in my case, like, 
I wanted to go get everything. You can get everything if you got it like that, but it's just don't be all over the place. Pick what you want to do. I was all over the place. I got like five DBAs. But that's just stuff that I wasn't, I lack focus. Something else. Not living. Now I'm living in my truth. So the patience I've gained, the focus I've gained, um, the time management I'm learning, the consistency I'm killing them with. That's why we a hundred episodes straight. We two out of a hundred right now. It's all from me living in my truth. All from me building and starting over from living in my truth. And that's what it takes. You can't grow. You cannot grow. You can't grow if you've been honest with yourself. If you build from that lie, you just built up a lie. You know the saying, if you lie, you got to tell more lies to keep up a lie. So if you live in your truth and you start building from the day that you live in your truth and be honest with your situation, you'll finally grow. You can't plant a tree on top of bullshit. It's simple as that. Even as far as my relationship, like, I'm around this bitch crying, hurt. But they say, another thing, living your truth. You Men cannot handle what they do to females they, when it happened to them. So, in that case, like, I got to be honest. Like, bro, did you love her correctly? Boy, you better let her go. You better not be arguing and being toxic and holding her back. Let go. Boom. Let go. I have to evaluate that shit. Nigga, you ain't do a good job. Let go. That shit, that's how I talk to myself. Nigga, stop. Stop thinking like that. I might be crazy. Stop, stop. Nigga, you better not fold. You know what I'm saying? I, I own anything. Get the fuck up in the morning. Get the fuck up. Let's get it. Little shit I say to myself. But you got to live in your truth, though. And it'll never work. Whatever you think is going to work, whatever you think you got going on, it's not going to work if you're not doing it honestly and truthfully. Be honest with people. Be truthful with people. Now, don't get me wrong. I used to think the truth is what people needed to hear all the time. You have to meet people where they at. So don't go off trying to tell everybody about they self. They ain't going to fuck with it. They ain't going to fuck with you. I lost homies because of that shit. They're like, bro, this nigga stay on my ass. Too much pressure being this nigga, homie. He ain't. It is too much pressure being this nigga, homie. He ain't gonna never lay off. That's what they be on. Gotta worry about yourself. Because living in your truth is something you gotta start doing. People will see you doing it. It is showing your growth. It is showing your work. And it's showing your progress. Um, and then, you know, once you win, everybody else will want to win. So start with yourself. Live in your truth. And, and focus on every possible aspect you can grow in. But we got to stop that capping. That social media shit, the fuck the dome off. The social media that messed up everybody here, they got... Everybody thinking they got to get rich fast. Got everybody thinking they got to have what everybody else have. Now everybody want to be an entrepreneur. Everybody want to be a boss. Everybody ain't bosses. Everybody ain't bosses. It's all right to be a high paid worker. You don't have to be a boss. You can be a high paid worker you can maximize your skills and be so great and be such a valuable asset to someone company and still live the life that you want to live entrepreneurship and being a boss is not for everybody but social media has everyone believing that they can be one and that's not living in your truth because you know you're not organized. You know you're not creative. You know you don't have good ideas. You know you don't even know what type of business 
You want to run. You just want to be an entrepreneur because you're seeing somebody else do it. You're not living in your truth. You want to sell plates because Shorty down the street was selling plates. But you know your chicken ain't touching hers. People want to sell T-shirts and have a clothing line because they seen somebody else sell T-shirts and have a clothing line. And then when they run into adversity, they quit. Because guess what? That was never your idea. You didn't know what to do from the get-go. So when it's time to get yourself and be innovative and get yourself out of a sticky situation or turn it into something or get sales and make money, it ain't what's the name. It ain't hit for shit because you ain't living your truth. You trying to be somebody else. So let's get off of that. And also, it's like if you live in your truth so hard, I ain't gonna lie, you'll damn near be richer or execute your goals faster than the people you see on social media. Because nobody posts the bad, they all post the good. So by you not paying attention to them so hard or worrying about yourself so hard, you're gonna fuck around and pass them up before you know it. You're gonna pass them up before you know it. And it's just like that. So, man, create your own path. Be your own person. Just live in your truth. Because your struggle is not that struggle. You can't compete with, you can't compete with a kid from a two-parent household and his people got money and your ass got a single mom and y'all broke as hell. You can't compete with that shit. They already ahead. Motherfuckers will never tell you their whole story. Motherfuckers ain't going to tell you how they got a, a bonus check sitting on the side. You know what I'm saying? Or they got their grandpa left them 50000 Motherfuckers a Motherfuckers will get some life insurance money for somebody that died and flex. Like, they hustle for that shit. And then have everybody that's fucking following them. Or have the young niggas that's following whoever crashing out. And the whole time, that nigga didn't even get it that way. He got it because somebody died. It's like simple shit like that where a lie will create a, a whole lifestyle of lies. And how motherfuckers dig around or misleading somebody and they crash out to do something. That's what I'm saying. You don't know what's going on with other people. So stop comparing yourself and just live in your truth. That's the only point I'm trying to make. When it's like you got to. Focus on yourself, and part of focusing on yourself is living in your truth. I'm going to keep saying that. I'm going to keep saying li living in your truth. I want you guys to come, and I ain't, you ain't lying, because you know you done it. You, we all done it. We all compared ourselves, worry about the wrong things, thinking we can be somebody else, be something else, and it's not it. It's not it. Like I say, if you ain't, no salesman, you ain't no salesman, or no hustler, it's all right. That ain't your trait. You might be a good setup person or a good, what do you call it? A good um, organizer, structure, planner. You on, you're not on the sales part. You on the create part or get it ready part. You know what I'm saying? I can't get the word off the dome right now, but. Respect you and what you can do and live in your truth. As simple as that. You only can do what you can do. You can continue lying, though. Keep living that lie. Nothing's going to happen because it's a lie and you ain't living your own truth. You're not living your life. You're living something else. It's all a facade. So be patient with yourself and just grow from the truth. Be honest with yourself. What do I need to do next? How can I accomplish those goals? Oh, motherfuckers be like, oh, I'm about to go buy a foreign car. Can you afford that shit? It's just so many things I can go off of on what living and not living your truth is. But you catch my drift, man. And it should be overstood. Living your truth. It's only one way we should be living, and that's real. And I understand real is the new, fake is the new real. 
And the only way to face that is to live in your truth. Just like that. There's, there's no other way around it. You're not going to cover shit until you do that. So, we're going to sign out. Like, subscribe, comment. You ain't lying because we ain't lying no more, man. The truth going to set you free. Simple as that. It's going to set you free. And that's understood. Tune in next episode. YouTube, Rich Television. Overstood the podcast. Prophet Rico to Instagram. Let's turn up. Living that truth, man.